Which is gonna be more beneficial? A three to four month cycle of dirty bulking or a good solid one year of lean bulking? You hear people in the gym all the time talk about, I'm gonna bulk up for a good three or four months and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean it out and get ripped. Well, your dirty bulking of three to four months is gonna get you nothing but friggin' fat because you can't put 30 or 40 pounds of quality muscle on in three to four months. Your top professional bodybuilders can't put that kind of muscle weight on. So what makes you think that you're the gift of God that you're gonna be able to do it? It's wrong. And I'm gonna to explain to you why coming up right after this. Hey guys, I'm Coach P with Championship Muscle. I've been in this industry over 43 years and I learned it from the best, Bob Gruskin himself. And I'm here to tell you, when you hear this stupid nonsense talk in the gyms from these morons that are walking around thinking they're all jacked and they're really fucking fat, that I'm gonna do this dirty bulk and I'm gonna put 30 or 40 pounds on in three or four months and then I'm gonna lean it out, you gotta look at them with freaking crossed eyes because they're about as stupid as stupid can be. 30 or 40 pounds of muscle. I go to a, a restaurant supply store and I buy ground beef in 10 pound sticks that's about this long and about this round. That's 10 pounds. Imagine taking four of those and taking that meat and plastering that meat across your body. That would be 40 pounds of muscle. If you think to God, you're gonna put 40 pounds of muscle on, lean muscle on, and three or four months by doing a dirty bulk, you're out of your friggin' mind. I don't know what the hell you're thinking, what you're smoking or what you're taking, because you're about as dumb as they come, okay? I'm here to tell you, the only way that you're gonna put quality lean muscle on is by following a good quality lean bulking diet. Not a dirty bulking diet, a lean bulking diet that you have to follow for an entire year. It takes a year to put on six pounds of quality muscle. And if you wanna know what six pounds of quality muscle is, go to the grocery store and have the butcher slice you six pounds of turkey or six pounds of ham, it doesn't matter. You take each one of those slices and you start draping it over your muscles. That's what six pounds of lean muscle is gonna be. So if you think that you're gonna pack on 40 pounds, buddy, I don't know what you're thinking, but man, are you so wrong. You're gonna be, you're gonna be the fucking Goodyear blimp or you're gonna be fucking Porky the Pig. You're gonna be fat and you're hearing it from me. F-A freaking T, fat, okay? In order to put on that quality lean muscle, yes, you can have a dirty meal once a week twice a week, that depends on your metabolism. But you gotta remember, in order to put that lean quality muscle on, you have to eat good, high quality foods. And you have to consume enough calories in a day so that you don't get fat, because even if you're eating all of that good quality food, you can still get fat a little bit, so you gotta be careful. You've gotta take a moderate complex carbohydrate intake. And by moderate, I mean you gotta start at about 100 grams and run it for two weeks and look at yourself in the mirror, not so much in the scale, to see how your body is responding. Because complex carbs, if they're not burned off in your training, are gonna be stored as fat. So if you take the leaner side of the complex carbs, the lower side, meaning like 50 grams or less, you're gonna burn through those 50 grams of complex carbs through the day. But the most important factor here is making sure you get enough protein in throughout the day. It could be three, four, five, or six meals spaced out through the day, smaller portions. I eat about eight to 10 ounces of protein in every meal. It equals out to 40 to 60 grams. Some days I eat more, some days I eat less. But you gotta find the happy medium that's gonna work for you. I can't give you a secret formula for you. I can help you figure out that secret formula because I know the mathematics on how to do it. But you have to take out one of those caloric diet books that tells you 
How many, how many complex carbs are in your food? How many grams of protein are in a serving of six ounces of whatever protein it is? And you gotta write those down. If you're supposed to take in 200 grams of protein a day, well, a chicken breast, an average size chicken breast is between 30 to 50 grams, maybe 30 to 40 grams. So if you're taking in 200 grams of protein a day and let's say all you're gonna eat is chicken, you gotta figure it out. How many meals am I gonna consume this in? That's up to you. You gotta eat how you feel. Never ever gorge yourself and take in all of this food and leave the table like it's fucking Thanksgiving. You never wanna stuff yourself. In order to gain lean quality muscle, you have to find that balance of the right amount of protein, the right amount of fats, the good quality fats, and the right amount of complex carbs. I don't take in any complex carbs. The only complex carbs I take in is through keto type bread or keto type wraps. If I have a complex carb, and I just had one two weeks ago, believe it or not, the first time in my life, I tried a sweet potato, and I used to fucking hate sweet potatoes, because my mother used to make that sweet potato casserole for Thanksgiving with the marshmallows as a kid, and I looked at it like, I'm not eating that shit, that's fucking disgusting. Well, one of my buddies convinced me to try a sweet potato. Oh my God, what have I been missing all these years? And a sweet potato doesn't affect your blood sugars, it's a very low glycemic index complex carbohydrate. So now, once a week, I have started to eat a sweet potato with one of my meals. Once a week I have that sweet potato. That's my complex carb intake. You gotta figure out what's gonna work for you. And that depends on your metabolism. If you're on the leaner side and you wanna put that bulk on, you're gonna be able to eat a lot more complex carbs. But if you have fat and you're carrying additional or excess body fat, you need to stay away from those complex carbs because you're not gonna burn them. You're gonna store them as fat and you're gonna continue to get fat. Yeah, the numbers on the scale are gonna get, you know, higher and higher. And you're thinking, oh yeah, this diet's working, this diet's working. Until one day you're gonna wake up, you're gonna get out of bed and put your fucking blue jeans on and, oh my God, I can't even button my fucking pants. Why? You shouldn't have to ask yourself that question. Look at what you're eating. Look at what you're eating. You have to follow a lean diet in order to put on lean quality muscle. You can take in some protein powder supplements. Depends on what you like to take in. Every protein supplement's different. Watch out for the hidden sugars. Sugar will get you fat. So find an alternate, an alternate for the sugar source. I use monk fruit sweetener as my alternate for my sugar source when I sweeten my coffee or my iced tea. Stay away from the sugars stay away from the high complex carbohydrates and take this lean bulking journey for an entire year. And I'm doing this with one of my clients who's a natural bodybuilder. Yes, I do work with natural bodybuilders, not just the juice boys. You will put the quality muscle on because I have been putting the quality muscle on with him and he's eating more with me than he's ever eaten before. And he's not getting fat. He's putting muscle on the bone. And that's what this game is all about. Why would you want to walk around the gym, not have any separation, not have any kind of definition, looking big and bloated and your face is all puffy? Who the, who the hell wants that look? Don't you want to look the part of a bodybuilder and have the separation in your muscles and a little bit of abs showing? You don't got to be shredded. It takes a lot of work to stay shredded. It is really, physically and psychologically demanding to stay shredded. It really is. I don't ever want to be shredded again, but I like to see my abs showing and my abs do show and I'm pretty content with that. And I'm 59 years old. I'm not this young, you know, spring chicken anymore. But back in the day, I stayed shredded for many, many months at a time and I'm here to tell you, I was fucking miserable because you're dieting so hard. You're dieting really, really hard and it sucks. So. Why would you want to put on all of this excess body weight or body fat doing the so-called dirty bulking? And let's talk about what's dirty bulking. Dirty bulking is going to McDonald's and ordering the left side of the menu twice with a Diet Coke because, oh, it's a fucking Diet Coke. I gotta watch a little bit somewhere.
or going to the Dairy Queen and getting the garbage processed foods or eating any kind of processed food at any of the fast food restaurants. Now, you can go to a restaurant and you can eat real healthy. You can get steak and eggs. You can get a scrambled egg omelet, a scrambled egg white omelet. There's so many things that you can eat. I hear the excuses all the time. Oh my God, I, I just can't go out to a restaurant and eat. There's nothing on the menu. There's a ton of things on the menu that you can eat. You just don't have an open mindset or the common sense to figure it out what it is that you can eat. It's common sense. It's common sense. You go and eat all this processed garbage food and do this dirty bulking, you're gonna get fat. You go into this plan of a one year journey and you do what I just told you, how to do that good quality lean bulking with high proteins, good fats, and a moderate complex carb intake, you're gonna put some good quality muscle on. And it's gonna show, because every month that you do this journey, you're gonna get better and better. And you're gonna look better and better. So in the description below, I've got a link to my online training where I am your coach one-on-one -on -one for a complete year. I've also got a link to my training courses where I go in great detail on all the body parts, contest preparation, reversing your type 2 diabetes with the keto diet. I did it to myself, I reversed my type 2 diabetes and I could damn sure help you with yours. These videos are very high quality and there is a lot of detail in the very large files. There's also a link, a PDF file for a free download. If you're not quite sure on how you want to start your fitness journey, click on that link, put your email in, and I will start sending you weekly emails to keep you up to date on how your fitness journey should start and how you should be progressing. So until next time, you guys have a great weekend. You guys have a great workout, and I will see you back in the gym. Peace out.